gold. Seriously? Across the street from where I live, not 25 meters away? And I've been there for like 20 years where there's a storm drain, which is kind of gross, really. I don't normally go to storm drains. But I noticed that there is a creek there. You can tell the, uh, the creek line by the rocks where there used to be a creek or a stream running through. And we'll take, take a look at it right now. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get down without killing ourselves here. The owner did give me permission. So I came down the other day and I checked and I found like one little speck of gold. And I got all excited and I'm thinking, oh wow, there's gold there. But it, it occurred to me that I may not have cleaned out the dishes I used you know, the trays from the last time I did a gold extraction. So I went ahead on back. Right now we're gonna see, and take a few more samples and see if there actually is gold down here. So you see it's a storm drain. So what, that's kind of nasty. What we're gonna do is try not to kill ourselves here first. Yeah. Okay, and I'll show you what I saw. Last time I hit this, it moved. Yeah, it still moves. Okay. Right over here. So check in here. Right in there. Can that ivy. That's a that's a, a creek line, see? All this embedded rock here. Now I know there was a creek that ran here a long time ago because it went down the center of our street like about 100 years ago. So we're gonna dig up some more of this. What is that? That's a vine. Let's see if there's some gold. So let's do it. This is the stuff I want. Got about a quarter bucket. That's a good sampling.
Now we're going to check the rocks. Let's see if anything, see if there's any nuggets in there. We use the uh, Gold Monster 1000 to do this. Still showing iron. The next bigger size. Sorry about the shadow, it's just the time of day, the way the sun shines. When this is half full, then you put in the next scoop. You know what, it seems to be leaning a little bit, doesn't it? If there's too much water coming in on this side and not enough on that side. Hmm, Let's see if we can fix that. Not perfect. Close enough. So looks like we do have some black sand here. There's black sand in there. And hopefully there's some gold in there, so let's check it. This particular pan is supposed to work underwater, which is why it's underwater right now. Shake. Much smaller. So it looks like I found another little bit right there. And there's some smaller micro dots around it as well. Let's see if I can get better sunshine here. There you go, it's a little bit better. So you can see it. So there is actually gold across the street. Not much, but you know, that's not a bad little speck. And the fact I didn't have to go very far, and I found gold. How freaking awesome is that? I'll tell the homeowner when he gets back. He's on vacation. So you're thinking, one speck of gold, big deal. But I think it is a big deal, because not only is it close to my house, but it sort of proves that there's gold in practically every single stream. You just have to look for it. 